Hello and uh, welcome to another lecture. Uh, this is going to be a revision lecture. So today we are going to start with uh, revision lectures. So this is going to be a revision lecture on type of slabs. So we have learned about two types of slabs that is one way slab and two way slab so let us now see what is meant by one way slab and what is meant by two way slab so a one way slab or a two way slab is decided based on the proportions of the length and breadth of the slab so first let us see what is meant by one way slab. So for that let us draw a sketch which is showing a slab the dotted lines are indicating beams and at the four corners let us consider that there are four columns so this is one column this is second column third and fourth column let us call this beam as B1 B2 B3 and B4 now if we consider this slab what you will notice is that the length of this slab and the breadth of this slab if you look at the proportions of the length and the breadth you will see that if we consider this to be x this dimension is 2x or more than 2x that means the length of the slab is twice or more than twice the width of the slab when such a case exists this type of slab we are going to call as a one way slab one way slab now why it is called as a one way slab this is called as a one way slab because in this case what is happening is that the load on the slab is getting transferred to only beams B1 and B2 and the load is acting only in this shorter direction and hence the reinforcement is also going to be along the shorter direction so that's why this is called as a one way slab now let us try to see what is meant by a two way slab so for that let us draw another sketch similar to what we had seen for the So now I am drawing a sketch here and if you look at this particular sketch what you will see is that again we will show the beams and four columns in the four corners now if you look at the proportion if you see the width of this slab let us say this is the width and this is the length of the slab now what you will see is that if this is x then this is less than 2x 
and hence therefore this type of a slab is going to be called as a two way slab now what happens in case of a two way slab is that the load which is coming on the slab is now going to get transferred to all these beams that means B1, B2, B3 and B4. So the load gets transferred to all the beams. So this is going to be the speciality of a two-way slab. So again revising what is meant by two-way slab and one-way slab. In case of one-way slab, the length of the slab is twice the breadth or more than twice the breadth in case of a two-way slab the length is less than twice the breadth now let us see how this affects the reinforcement in the slab so whether it is a one-way slab or a two-way slab it has got a direct influence on how the reinforcement is going to be placed so placement of reinforcement is going to be different for one way slab and for two way slab. So now let us see this that how is the reinforcement placed in one way slab and in two way slab. So first let us consider that this is a one way slab as we saw earlier the proportions of the one way slab would be such that the length will be twice the breadth or more than twice the breadth. So let us consider this condition where we have a slab and we have got these columns at the four corners now if we look at the reinforcement which is going to be placed in this slab as we talked about earlier the distribution of the load is going to be only along the shorter span and hence the reinforcement is the main reinforcement is also going to be placed along the shorter span so if you look at this particular slab what you will see is that the main reinforcement is placed in this manner so these are indicating the main bars So what we can say is that this is the main reinforcement and along the longer span we will be having some reinforcement that is going to be the distribution steel and this will be at right angles to the main reinforcement so this steel is going to be called as distribution steel now uh, what is the purpose of having the distribution steel we will see it slightly later on so what we have seen is that in one way slab there is going to be main reinforcement along the shorter span and distribution steel along the at right angles to that now let us try to consider a section through this so let us say that we draw a section like this along the span then what we will be seeing is a section like this where uh, this will be the shorter span this will be the beam this is the slab 
Now if we consider the main reinforcement inside this, what we'll see is that uh, this main reinforcement is going to be like this, it is going to be bent up here near the support and the alternate bars will be seen dotted like this which will be again bent up at the support which will be seen in dotted and because this, this section is cut like this at right angles to this main reinforcement we are going to see the distribution bars so remember one thing that the distribution bars will be seen at the top of the main reinforcement in this case so we are going to see these bars here which will be the distribution bars so if we label this again what we will be having is this is the main reinforcement and these bars are going to be the distribution bars which are going to be at right angles to the main reinforcement. So this is the type of uh, reinforcement detail which you are going to see in case of a one way slab. So one way slab. Reinforcement. That is how we are going to see the reinforcement in case of one way slab. Now in the next sketch let us look at how the reinforcement will be there in a two way slab. So for that let us draw a two way slab. As we have learned earlier a two way slab will have a proportion in which case the length will be less than twice the width. So let us try to draw this type of slab. These are the beams and let us draw four columns at the corner of this slab. Now in this case as we noted earlier the load is going to get transferred along all the four directions to all the four beams and hence the main reinforcement will also be in both the directions so now let us try to see how that reinforcement will be seen so if you look at the reinforcement in a two-way slab it is going to look somewhat like this this is the alternate bars which are bent up along the shorter span and in the same way you will see that there will be bars which are going to run along the longer span with alternate bars being bent up like this Now one point to note here is that you are not seeing any reinfo distribution reinforcement because this reinforcement is running in both directions. So this is going to be main reinforcement along longer span and this is going to be main reinforcement along shorter span. So now if we were to draw a section through this again in the same way as we had drawn it earlier in this direction AA and look at the section so this is the section 
along the shorter span of the slab a section AE now what we'll see is that the main reinforcement as in case of the one way slab will be seen here and the alternate bars again will be seen like this which are bent up and now if you look at the reinforcement in the section along the longer span what you will see is that this reinforcement will be seen like this cut in section and this will be along the longer span so if you want to label this what we will be labeling this is the this is the main reinforcement along shorter span and this is going to be main reinforcement along longer span and this is going to be your section AE so this is going to be a two way slab reinforcement so this was the difference between one way and two way slab in case of one way slab the reinforcement main reinforcement was along the shorter span and the distribution steel was along the longer span in case of two way slab the main reinforcement is there along both shorter and longer span and there is no distribution steel here so this is the way that the reinforcement will look in two way slab so i hope this uh, lecture was clear to you this is the first revision lecture on slab reinforcement we'll have more such lectures to follow thank you